Gold Fury by Kieran Westwood, who is a writer as well as a YouTuber. I actually discovered his channel, being a writer myself, of course, and uh, I really enjoyed it. The production value is far higher than, than what you're going to find on this channel. But anyway, uh, his channel piqued my interest. I wanted to see what his own writing was. And in fact, I, I followed a link in the description, which led me over to Amazon to find his book, this book, in fact, Gold Fury, a novella in Flash, as he coins it. So what is the hook? What is Gold Fury about? Well, it's about a lot of things. But um, we open up on a highway in the middle of nowhere. There was a man driving a 1970 Plymouth Fury. He's flagged down by a mysterious man who is metaphorically called a scarecrow. And he's suddenly carjacked, and this is the moment, this is the impetus, the catalyst, if you will, that pulls us into this tale, a criminal tale, a noir-like tale, about this car and about the people who surround it in the small rural town. So what did I think? Well, let us begin with character, my favorite topic, as you know, if you've been around this channel for some time. Well, this book has a lot of characters. Uh, in fact, every single chapter uh, introduces new characters, more or less, but they all revolve around this car, this car that was jacked in the beginning and even though there are many many characters uh some of which we only meet for like you know one or two chapters and that's it they're all fleshed out they all feel like they um have their own lives their own plots that exist in some other novel somewhere else and i, I think that's really the most impressive thing about this novel is that even though we don't spend much time with these people we're right there beside them and you know even when they leave the frame we're kind of just peeking off frame, right? Just out of frame, wondering what they're going to be up to next. And this is not an easy feat. I mean, fleshing out this many characters, not to say that they're particularly well fleshed out, but they're fleshed out just enough. And I think that's the important point here is that we don't need elaborate backstories for everybody. Uh, but what Westwood does here is he gives us enough. He gives us just enough to make them feel real, right? Despite having so many characters, none of them feel paper thin and they genuinely feel like they have wants, needs and problems themselves, even though some of them are just observers to what's going on in the story, not active participants. And while this is a strength of the book, it's also its weakness. A small weakness though, but I, I, I feel like it's worth talking about. So once we get to the climax of the book, it feels as if uh, the author was really trying to get us to feel for the character, right? But once everything is revealed, once all of the information were, were given, it, it doesn't it doesn't end in that way, right? There, there's some underpinnings of an emotional backbone here, right? It's not just, like I said, a series of events and, and it's and strictly about the plot. But unfortunately, because we met so many people in so little time, and this isn't a very long book, right? It's a novella. It's only about 65 pages. It didn't hit me. It didn't really hit me in the end, emotionally anyway. All right, well, I think that is a segue for me to talk about the plot next. And like I said, Everything is centered around this car, right? Everything stems from it. All of these characters, all of these events, all of these locations stem from this single thing. And each character almost feels like they're handing it off as a baton, more or less, right? Where has it been? Where is it going? Who's involved? Who's going to be involved next? And so I think that's a interesting plot device because it'd be hard to spend too much time on that idea in a single chapter. And, and like I said, the chapters here are very short. And, and, and right when you think something is going to happen, you're whisked off to another chapter where the plot even unfolds further. And you're constantly asking questions through this entire thing. So this is a bit of a mystery novel, I could say. I, I don't want to say it's like a whodunit kind of thing, but there are elements of it there. And you do get all the answers at the end. I think most of the answers anyway. This is also not an easy thing to do. Uh, maintaining, maintaining momentum and mystery all the way up into the end. And hopefully you're going to deliver deliver a satisfying ending. And I think it, it it is to a degree, like I said earlier on in the section, the character section, I felt like he was trying to create a means for us to connect with a character or group of characters. And while I think it works in black and white, right, in the text itself, I think it's what, what is lacking for me is what was between the lines, which makes me wonder what this book would have been like if it was fleshed out to a novel length. I think some things would have suffered, definitely. Maybe the quick pace would have been too exhausting to go on for three or 400 pages. But I think what could have been gained is an emotional connection to the main character or characters because with so many people and so little time, it was it was just literally not enough time. One thing I'd like to mention as well is, is the theme here, is, is the idea that uh, a seemingly insignificant event can involve a vast amount of people. You know, there's a history, there's a future, there's consequences, there's all of these things. So I think so often in life, we feel like we're bottled up, right? We com we compartmentalize things and we think that there is, is no effect on the world outside, just what we're kind of bringing upon ourselves. It's kind of like the butterfly effect in a way, where a single event can, can set off a, a cascade of, of events that involve a, a lot of people who have their own trajectories in life. All right, well, let us talk about the writing itself, or as I like to call it, the cinematography of the novel. It's short, it's punchy, it's very well written, 
A little bit of Cormac McCarthy influence I I'm sensing there. And I don't worry, there are quotation marks around the dialogue, so you're not going to be lost. But again, I think the writing uh, really emphasizes the pace of this novel. It's a short novel, 65 pages, like I said, short chapters. And I think if you had drawn out prose, it would have just stunted the effect of the pacing in this book. And I'd like to point out one interesting technique uh, the author did toward the end of the book. And when someone is in a location, I won't say what location, he's speaking to a police officer. And the way he avoids kind of the back and forth questioning, right? The banter of, you know, he said, then he said, then he said, then he said. Everything's italicized and it's almost like in this dreamlike state where we're just getting one side of the story being the POV character in that particular in, in that particular moment but we still understand what the questions were being asked and I thought that was a particularly interesting and effective way to avoid the monotony of, of, of a back and forth conversation and I know in writing um, we're always trying to look for different techniques at least I am because as we know a story is, is is much more than the words on the page right it's how they're constructed and just as someone might experiment um, and film with, with different kinds of editing or shooting. I think we should constantly be finding interesting techniques like that. So I, I really did enjoy that and it, it stood out to me. Which is why I'm gonna give Gold Fury by Kieran Westwood an eight out of 10. Cool concept about a, a criminal story centering around a single vehicle. Excellent character work despite the fact that there are so many and we spend so little time with them. Efficient, punchy writing that emphasizes the narrative itself as well as the pacing of course. With a little bit of a downside that I think toward the end of the book we have a lack of emotional weight or resonance but I still think it's worth your time. It's only four bucks. If you're looking for something that is in the crime genre reminiscent of Cormac McCarthy just a little bit maybe then I think you will enjoy Gold Fury. All right well that is it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you want to check out my own work, my own books, you can of course check the link in the description below. And Kieran, if you ever watch this man, look forward to your next book. All right. See you guys in the next one.